Liam Mellows was an Irish Republican and an Irish Patriot. He has huge connections to Castletown and County Wexford and the surrounding area. Liam was just 30 years old when he died, but he left a lasting legacy on the history of Ireland and in particular here in Castletown, where he grew up and is buried. Liam was born at Hartshead Military Barracks in Lancashire in England in May 1892. His mother, Sarah Jordan, was from Inch, a short distance from here. When he was a young child, his family moved to Dublin, but Liam stayed in Inch with his grandfather, Patrick Jordan. When in Dublin in 1911, at the age of 19, Liam was recruited by Thomas Clark in the Fianna era. Later that year, he joined the Irish Republican Brotherhood. In 1913, Liam met James Connolly at Countess Markovich's residence in Tuam. James Connolly was deeply impressed with Liam and told his daughter Nora, I have found a real man. Nora was to play a big part in Liam's life and at one stage to help them to escape from England. In March 1915, he was sent to organise the Irish Volunteers in County Galway in the lead up to the 1916 Rising. Frank Hines, captain of the Athenry branch of the Irish Volunteers, recalled the arrival of Mellows in the town. We got word from Dublin that an officer was being sent down to organise and train volunteers in County Galway. When he arrived, I was introduced to a little fellow with glasses. My impression of him was that he may be a clever lad. He was about 22 years, but couldn't be much good at fighting. His name, by the way, was Liam Mellows. Little did he know. Liam's political beliefs brought attention to him by the RIC, the police force at that time, and the British authorities. He had many near misses when importing guns or training volunteers, but was arrested and jailed on various occasions. One of his finest moments took place following his arrest in March 1916 in Athenry, County Galway. Liam was sent to England where he would be placed under house arrest. He even took his fiddle with him. As he was an important leader for the planned 1916 Rising, Liam's brother Barney and Nora Connolly were given instructions by James Connolly to get him home at all costs. Little did the British know that Barney and Nora had arrived in England and visited the house where Liam was staying. No sooner had they arrived, the plan fell into place. Liam swept clothes with his brother and escaped with Nora. Liam and Nora escaped back to Ireland with Liam dressed up as a priest. He returned to Ireland to command a Western Division of the Volunteers during the 1916 Easter Rising. Liam played a huge role in the Rising in Atten Rye. After the Rising was put down, he escaped to America. On returning home, the famous 1918 general election took place where Irish people elected their own politicians. Liam was elected to the first doll as a Sinn Féin candidate. The British, unhappy with this, would not accept the Dublin government and after much toing and froing, a conflict broke out and Liam returned to Wexford to fight the British forces in what would be known as the War of Independence. The War of Independence finally came to a halt, with the British offering a new free state where part of Ulster would remain under British rule and a treaty was signed agreeing to this. Some thought the agreement was the best solution to the situation they were faced with, whilst Liam and many more considered the Anglo-Irish Treaty as a betrayal of the Irish Republic they had fought for and it compromised their beliefs.
This division in belief led to what we now call the Irish Civil War. People who supported the treaty became known as pro-treaty, while Liam and other Republicans were known as anti-treaty supporters. This was a troubled period in Irish history, with friends falling out of friends, families with families, neighbours with neighbours. Liam was arrested in June 1922 by pro-treaty forces due to his involvement in the siege of the Four Courts in Dublin. This was the last time Liam was to be imprisoned, as just six months later, on the 8th of December 1922, he was executed in Mountjoy Jail. Liam is buried in Castletown and our local GAA club is named after him. Liam will always be remembered here and his connection to Castletown and the surrounding area will never be forgotten. Every time we put on our jerseys, we put them on and wear them proudly as people from Castletown, Wexford and Ireland. <laughs>